Okay, so we're back for the week ahead for the 19th, August 19th through August 25th. Um, not a whole lot going on, but still some very powerful stuff. Uh, because I see here we have this uh, Venus trine Uranus, but then we also have this Mercury trine Jupiter. Uh, we're going to kind of discuss that, and then Venus conjunct Mars, which we saw earlier all going down in Leo. Um, I think I would label this one uh, Royal Confidence because the last video um, was, uh, what was that called? Galactic Royalty. Because um, I, I like to play with, with, uh, with words when I do these videos. Um, okay, so yeah, before we go on, just two announcements. Uh, one of them is the Sidereal Astrology Master Course that I'm teaching. That's coming up sometime in September. Uh, I'm going to launch uh, later on. I'm going to launch some dates so that we all have the dates and the application process of what, you know, because I am taking applications for this class. I'm just not going to take anyone who comes my way because this is a deep study into, into the roots of astrology, uh, which is our first science. So, sidereal astrology is what, how the ancients practice. So, it's basically connecting to the actual constellations in the sky. So, we're going to learn astrology that way and we're going to kind of like understand this uh, ancient language that's been left to us because it's believed that this astrology is an ancient language that's been left to us so we can understand self-realization through our connection to the cosmos and through my studies it's true it's there the language is there and we're going to learn this and we're going to learn astronomy as well we're going to learn stargazing so we know our way around the sky um, so we can be a well-armed, well-studied, sidereal astrologer. That's how you're going to come out of this course, as a, as a well-informed, well-studied sidereal astrologer uh, that knows their way around the sky. So you can be able to go out and you're going to be able to do readings in the sky, you know, <laughs> and then you're going to also show a chart that matches that. Um, and if you study tropical astrology, you won't be able to do that with tropical astrology because when you go out into the sky like right now and you see okay Jupiter is in Scorpio uh, tropical astrology is gonna say Jupiter is in Sagittarius so if if you're informed or if the person you're talking to is informed and knows the sky and you just gave him an astrology reading saying hey you, you know Jupiter is in is is in Sagittarius and you go out and you look and you go no man that's in Scorpio because you know yes constellations right which is um I have Scorpio on my arm um, so yeah that's powerful stuff so we're going to arm you, we're going to train you like this with the sidereal course. Okay, You're going to learn how to do charts, natal charts, um, predictive astrology, you know, returns, uh, synastry, which is relationships like everything, everything. You're going to be a, you know, a fully armed, studied astrologer. And I'm also going to share tips with you on how to run an astrology business. Um, so that's another thing. So yeah, so just look out for the dates. Make sure you're on my email list at on SidereoAstrologist.com. Make sure um, on the Facebook group, Sidereal Revolution. Uh, and then subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then you'll be kind of in the loop with everything that I'm doing. All right. Uh, and then next is my Sidereal rant. <laughs> because I like to have my Sidereal rant with every video. In case you're new to the channel, I like to make sure you know that Sidereal Astrology is astrology that aligns with the constellations in the sky. And I also use the true sizes of the constellations where you can see on my chart all the constellations are different sizes. I don't use an even 30 degree per sign because if you look in the sky not every constellation is 30 degrees. So if you do your research and you look up tropical astrology versus sidereal astrology you're gonna see that tropical astrology, the mainstream astrology that everyone practices that we all follow um, and it's for a reason why it's not aligned you're going to see it's not aligned with the constellations in the sky and if you approach your tropical astrologer they one don't know and two if they do know they won't reveal it and they won't tell you because it kind of invalidates their practice because all along the tropical astrologers are saying everything is connected to the stars your futures in the stars destinies in the stars la 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 with the stars but then their their astrology is not aligned with the stars. And then, like, how do they tell everyone that? Yeah, it's a big deal. All right, so with uh, this course that we're also doing, you know, we're going to kind of, like, 
root you into this realness of astrology. All right, so that was my sidereal rant. Okay, so now we're going to move into the transit. Uh, short week, but as you can see, this full moon was a pretty powerful one um, that just passed um, on the 15th. It was kind of royal. So this one I labeled um, Royal Confidence. Because what we see here, um, we went over the nose in Neptune so many times, so we don't have to do that. Uh, I only read the galactic center when something is in it. But what we see here is Mercury trines Jupiter. So Mercury is in Leo, trining on Jupiter in Scorpio. So this is like uh, what I wrote here, spiritual depth, because um, when you have Jupiter in Scorpio, there's a, there's a depth there. There's like a spiritual depth. Um, and then what we discussed before was Jupiter before was in the galactic center mixing out this like cosmic elixir so now we kind of have this kind of like confidence now I see because Mercury especially Mercury in in Leo now it's trining on Jupiter which is royal royal it's like you know Leo is the royal sign uh, Jupiter is a royal planet Mercury is like intelligence it's all knowing so what I'm seeing here is like confidence and spiritual depth, you know, spiritual royal knowing. So that's that's good because we went through a whole big thing about like galactic royalty and knowing and all this stuff in the full moon, which was pretty powerful. So now that's pl playing out this week. And then we have the Venus conjunct uh, Mars going 23rd through the 25th, 26th probably, goes on through the week. So that's just the masculine and feminine just coming together, which we discussed in the full moon before. Um, that was the whole reset that we're dealing with, where it's like we're honoring and respecting the masculine feminine within ourselves and within each other and around us. That's the new paradigm reset. Um, because enough, w uh, you know, enough with the disrespecting, the, the masculine and feminine disrespecting. It's all over the place in the media and the music everywhere and um, you know so like this whole all, all the muggles that I see in the world you know like you know my stupid wife my dumb husband my idiot husband you know then fucking get divorced like you know that's it and stop being together like if you're not royal to each other you don't treat each other like kings and queens then then like be done man and that's what's happening like done like n that's not gonna exist in this new paradigm and then we're gonna see here Venus trines up on Uranus uh, where is that? That's the end of the week, 25th. And this is like feminine freedom, revolution, like f expression of the feminine. So that's kind of what's going on. So it's good to support that as well because the feminine likes to dance. <laughs> so that's going to happen. There might be some freedom in that area of, of, of existence, which is great. Um, you know, that's where we need to be. Uh, creative change. Support it in royal knowing is what I wrote for that. All right, because it's the Venus Mars, Venus Uranus. So that's like supportive, galactic knowing, and freedom in that in that expression. So, so there we go. That's it. Uh, the next one we'll go next week. Uh, we'll go over some stuff for next week. But that's it for this week. Um, yeah, uh, I hope to see you. Uh, you know on filling out some applica the application for the course because the course is going to be pretty intense. I'm kind of preparing for it now and I'm just like, whoa, this is real. Uh, so yeah, so do that. The you know email list, I do a revolution, the Facebook group, all that stuff. Just get on all that and uh, we're going to keep in touch. And uh, I'll see you on the next video, guys. All right, have a good week. Thanks. Bye.